y equals log of x, the simple version of the equation. In it, variables a, k, c, and d are all excluded or are zero. y equals log x is plotted. Its x-intercept is 1. At x equals 10, y is equal to 1. But that is only the beginning. Now? <laughs> Crap just got real. First, let's slap it in the A. The A controls vertical compression. As it increases in value, it stretches. As it approaches zero, it compresses. At zero? Well, you know, the slope is zero too. When the A value is negative, its function is a reflection over the y-axis of what occurs when positive. The k controls horizontal compression. It seems iffy compared to a. It also follows the same basic procedure as a, other than replace vertically with horizontally, and it reflects over the y-axis when negative. Oh, but when she's zero, <gasps> she's invisible. As for C and D, which are so interesting, they just move up and down and left and right and all around with the light. And last, but not least, just an example, in this logger, bear with me, ismic function, the a value means it's vertically stretched by a factor of 2. The k value means it's horizontally stretched by a factor of 3. The c value means it's shifted to the right by 5. And finally, the d value means it's shifted upward by 4. So now you ask, what the devil was that equation again? Luke Skywalker. <sighs> Here is your answer. Hey, wait a sec. You say? Alright, what do you mean? I reply. What about stretches horizontally and vertically for A and K? Ah, uh, yes, here's the thing. Stretches occur when the A or K value is between 0 and 1. Compressions occur when the value is 1 plus. <sighs> Alright!